welcome back everybody to another let's play in my world another video from my single player world uh, I have been playing this off and on since last time I <laughs> recorded a video and I've done many different projects but I did want to show off this one in a quick video uh, maybe around five minutes long so we'll see if I can't make that but this is my end this is my end dimension this is where you spawn and I have um, it's an old world, so my exit is actually right up here, um, instead of in the middle of the island. Um, throughout the years, there's only been one dragon here. Um, uh, you can see I put a bunch of snowmen around here originally. The, the tree forest, there's three different endermen farms in this direction, as well as the bridge, 1,000 blocks to the, um, the end fortresses and the places with the elytras and whatnot out there. But, in the past two or three days, I've been building up this. Um, I only recently updated to 1.15. Um, and that means, of course, bees. Yes, I finally had bees in this world. Um, so what I did, I first uh, created a bunch of birch trees in my um, um, witch farm area. Uh, and that got me my first few bees, but then um, I decided to just build a birch farm in here instead. Uh, and I, this is where I first got the f my uh, the beehives needed for um, uh, the actual farm in here. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but you can see all the hives there. And I, um, each hive holds three bees, and you really want to have three bees for each one. Um, but when they spawn from trees, they can only have one, two, three, instead of three straight out. Um, so I had this little room over here. Double doors to protect the bees inside. Um, and this is where I would grab bees or beehives. Um, you see zeros, ones, and twos. These have zero bees, one bees, and this would be where the twos would go. These are unchecked, how many there are in here. Um, and this would be where the threes went until I had eight of them. Eight was my goal, um, and if we go back outside, we could go back up, and so we have eight of them beneath here. Uh, so I could place all eight. This design is pretty simple. Um, there are honey bottles and the dispensers up there. I think they're dispensers or droppers. I don't know. Um, when the beehive is full, um, it outputs, it, uh, it takes five bees producing honey to go in and out. And with those three bees inside, it's like about two cycles for it to get a full honey thing in there. And then that would be one, two, uh, oops, three, four, five redstone dust. And then once all five are lit, the last one is powering the dispenser to immediately spit out a bottle and get the, um, that was my phone if you heard that, the honey inside and spit it out into the hoppers below that collect it. Um, and then I collect it inside. Uh, the empty bottles go back into this chest up here. Don't mind the bugged out texture pack. Um, that is just powered rails, normal powered rails. I'm just bugged out. Um, but uh, then you come inside and I have AFK overnight last night and I have seven sacks of honey blocks which is perfect for any future redstoning because it really relies on these honey blocks now it's not just for walking slow it they act like slime blocks independently of slime blocks so they're really useful uh, and that is what I made this farm for uh, and then I just had a lot of birch logs so I encased a in birch put some fences, I put some stained glass and a bee pattern up there. The end stone up there is to make sure these birch trees don't grow too high. Um, and then I used a random number generator, a really bad one I think, but random number generator to pick a number between one and seven, and that spot would go in the second one, then I got a five, and a six, and a six, and a two, then a one, and so on and so forth generate this random pattern along the fences back here and of course a few um slips in the back back here um that are actually pretty safe 
to build the scaffolding back here to hold this up and all the little filled few details just to make this neat, neater build um, uh, but within the light show there's no worry about falling out of the world um, that's what it looks like from a distance and from up high uh, and yeah so that is what I've been up to in this world one of the things I've been up to uh, stick around for another video um, hopefully soon my next project will be in the nether um, and it should be pretty fun f I, I've been look, looking forward to it for a while so look out for that hopefully soon thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video